We're here with the Louisville guys, 400 medley relay champions tonight. Trevor Carroll, Pedro Co Cochino, there you go. Grigory Tarasevich, and Carlos Clavery. Uh, so guys, you knew it was going to be a tough, a tough competition there from NC State. What was the approach kind of going in to, to try and get this one? Um, we knew, we saw what they've been doing all night, and we knew they had a lot of energy coming forward, but um, we knew what this relay was capable of, and we came in ready to race and wanted to end the night on a high note. Yeah. I think we did that pretty well. Trevor, just like Mallory Comerford last week, you burned your last relay on the second to last day. Was it worth it? Definitely. Come out here and get this win with these guys. That was fantastic. Pedro, you had the 100 fly. You came up a little short there. What well, did you try and approach the, uh, differently on the relay? Well, the difference is we practiced to do our race, let's say, in a certain <laughs> standard. And every time you do the same thing over and over and over and over. On my race, I messed up my start. In my first 25, I was way behind. Mm -hmm. I was like right on their hips. So I tried to overswing the first pitch to catch up with them, so I messed up my entire race, my stroke count, my kick counts. On the relay, I just tried to take charges. And as soon as I jumped in, I just got my kick outs right, my stroke count right, and I knew that as soon as I touched the first 25 rounds, I know I got this. And yeah. that's what I did. Third 25, took off and then one. Yeah. Gregory, you had to come back after the 100 backstroke. Back to back races, even though there was a break, how did you manage to recover that quickly and come out and swim right around the same time? Well, I thought that basically all backstrokers in the field did the same thing I did, so my goal was to die less than everyone else died. <laughs> so it kind of worked out, and I just, as soon as I touched the wall, I didn't feel, and I got out, and I saw Carlos jumping in, I started like screaming, like adrenaline, <laughs> my like all lactate acid disappeared, I'm like right away fresh, I'm like, go Carlos, go! I almost jumped in and swim it, <laughs> I was so pumped. Who needs a warm up after that? And Carlos, you coming back after the 100 breaststroke, uh, third, third in a really tight field there. Were you pleased with the time and pleased, pleased where you were to come back on the relay? Yeah, I'm very pleased with the time, best time by half a second. Also, being in the relay with these guys and doing everything the coach and me rehearsed before the race, I think we're pretty pumped and pretty happy with the results. Yeah, and then Trevor on the anchor, like you had Joe Bonk right there, he's kind of on your hip. Could, could you see him and did, did you think you had it the whole way? Um, I just told these guys, if you put me out there with the shot, I'm going to make sure I bring it home. So. Yeah. I just wanted to do all I could to bring the relay home with a win for these guys. So. And you guys well, should be a, a strong contender in this event at NCAAs. What's gonna, where obviously the, the, the top points are emphasized a little more, a, a relay win can be huge. What's going to be the approach going into that meet to try and really make sure this relay is on point? Um, same as we did here. We just want to go there and execute. We can be a little bit faster than we were tonight, we think. So just go there. Same game plan. We all swam well. We just think we can all be a little bit faster. Yeah. Uh, so guys, thanks so much. Unless anyone has any final comments? No? Fantastic. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks, guys. <laughs>